Hello, welcome to the video how to display additional fields within the full or expanded lookup view in cell service. Login as administrator in BMC Helix Remedy Force. Then go to the Remedy Force Administration tab. Click on the Configure Cell Service tile and then General Cell Service Settings. In this page, you'll find the lookup section. I'm going to open cell service in a different tab so you can see how it works. Then click on Submit a Ticket. In this form, I'm going to work on the status, secondary contact, and back lookup fields. If we click on the status lookup field, you'll notice that by default, we're only displaying the status name. Secondary contact is a lookup to the user object. By default, this type of lookup fields will display the email address and the profile picture of the user. Now, let's go back again to Remedy Force Administration and let's change the number of fields in the full view to 2. Then save the changes. Click on a status field again and now you'll see that I'm displaying the status name and the stage. If you want to display the name of the field, you can go back here and click on Show Labels, save the changes, and click on Reload. As you can see, we are displaying the field name, stage, and the value. As mentioned, for the user lookup field, we are still displaying the email address and the profile picture, which are the default fields. Now, if we want to display fields in the expanded view, you can select up to 10 fields. For this testing, we'll select 3 fields and click on Show Labels. Save the changes. Go back to Remedy for Cell Service. And now, in the Status field, you'll notice a plus sign. When you click on it, 3 additional fields will show up. Let's click on the User Lookup field, Span, and 3 fields show up as well. Now, if you want to change different fields or maybe the order, the field set that controls these is called column headers. For the status field, we can see we have a stage, state, and default status. Let's go to setup and then click object manager. Search for a status, click on field sets, and now column headers. As you can see, I have the stage, state, and default status. You can change the order here. You can add additional fields in order to be able to display them in cell service. Similar steps are for the user object. Just type user, field sets, and column headers. I have title, phone, last name, first name, alias, and email. Now, let's have a look on the third lookup that I have. Bug. This one, if I click on it, you'll notice that I'm not displaying any default field and I don't have expanded view. So this is because Bug is a custom object in my org. So for this type of objects, we need to create the field set column headers first. Let's do that. Go back to the object manager. Open your custom object, in my case is Bug. Field Sets and click on New. Give it a name and under Field Set Name, Link Records. Then save the changes. Now you can proceed to add the desired fields that you want to display in Cell Service Expanded and Default View. Save the changes. Now let's go back again to Cell Service, Reload button, click on Submit a Ticket, Bug, and there you go. Now, for the default view, we'll display two fields, the record name and the checkbox box. If you expand the view, you'll see the three fields that you configure from Remedy Force Administration. This concludes the video how to display additional fields within the default or expanded lookup view in cell service. Thank you for watching.